All right, I'm Bob Kaminsky with Walter Pacific, and we're here um, in Whistler, British Columbia, Canada, at the site of the 2010, or what's going to be the 2010 Olympics. Uh, I'm here today with Larry Dreadhart, who's been uh, very much involved in, in a key figure here to try and get this constructed. We're standing today on the site of uh, the luge and the bobsled track, which is behind us. The bobsled, I think Larry correctly is on this side. Yeah, the bobsled's up behind me. And the luge, luge is going to be on this side. Okay, great. Um, Walter and Ideal Welders, who Larry is with, um, have had a long-standing partnership and, a, and a, a very good relationship, and we've been fortunate enough to uh, be able to supply the abrasives used in constructing and fabricating this um, this uh, this luge and bobsled track. So uh, we're fortunate enough, Larry's taken the time to allow us to come on site today and just give us a little bit of an explanation as to what's involved. So number one, Larry, if I can ask you, how long, when did this project start exactly? Uh, it started in uh, March of uh, 2006. Okay, so just over basically a year and expected to be finished basically when? Approximately, uh, approximately the end of November 2007. Okay, so can I ask you to explain to us just a little bit in terms of obviously what we're standing on right now is concrete, but I know under this concrete is all the piping, which is obviously the key part where you guys came in with how it was constructed. I know there was rebar used in shaping the track, but then the piping that laid in there as well. Um, what, what do you need to, can you just explain a little bit to us exactly what was involved in constructing the track? Oh, absolutely. What, how it was all constructed? They started out with pedestals that got laid out. The whole, the whole shape of the track was laid out on pedestals. We put supply mains on them. And then up came the building. Uh, another company put the steel up for us, we rode on jig bars, and uh, we've got 70 miles of one inch pipe here from the start to the finish. It's a 1.7 kilometer long bobsled run, and uh, our piping job, we're, we're providing the refrigerant, the freezing, the freezing uh, medium for the, for the track. So they get, what we do is we start off with just the, st the bare steel we put in our pipe, they wrap our pipe up in uh, rebar. After they've wrapped it up in rebar, they spray shot, treat on, shape it, and go on to the next one. And when they're done, we have to strip everything out, connect all our supply mains to feed them. And it's just like having 26 little ice rinks on the site for the common person to understand what we're dealing with. And uh, I've been told that it takes an hour to freeze this thing at the hottest day of the summer. So, um, they can get it up to full freezing, so it's kind of a unique project in that respect. Right on. So the diameter of piping, sorry again, it's just uh, it's a mild steel pipe that was used? Yeah, it's one inch, one inch mild steel pipe. The reason why it was mild steel pipe is so it can take the shape better as we laid it into the high curves and into the tight curves. The pipe flexes, that's how they came up with that dimension. And uh, that's the reason why we use that type of pipe. So a lot of fitting, obviously a lot of cutting that was done. Most, I would imagine there'd be a few zip cuts used on this job. Lots of Walter zip cuts in the garbage can. Right. Thousands and thousands of little ones all used up, that's for sure. It's been used for a year and a half on this one. Okay, so right now we're standing at the very top, which is the starting gate. We were at the bottom um, just before that first curve. Obviously, as you can see, I'll try and zoom in here a little bit and maybe ask Larry here. It's the very first curve of 16 full curves on this track. And uh, this is where they start their speed. They get up to a speed of 85 miles per hour by the time they hit the bottom of the track. So you can imagine, and the height of the curve determines the speed. As the curves get higher, you, the reason why they're higher is the, the sled's coming down that much faster. So as we go down the hill, you'll get to see much higher curves. 